Dome Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, guys, heavyweight division, that's where it's at right now. Things are going down. We know about uh, the fight that was supposed to happen on April 13th that didn't happen in, in England. We know that Josh was now fighting Jarrell Miller. Josh fighting Jarrell Miller in uh, Madison Square Gardens on June 1st. We know that the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch is supposed to be imminent. Was until the big news came on Monday that uh, your boy Tyson Fury signed a huge deal with ESPN and Top Rank. Right. So what it's basically doing, guys, is making our top three, you know, the big three. We're going to give them the big three. And that'll be Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua. You know, similar to Novak Djokovic, you know, um, uh, Roger Federer, and Rafael Nadal. Now, these guys are not legends yet. But those are the big three in boxing right now. There's a few people coming up. Now, the thing about this, though, is the heavyweight uh, picture has just gotten blurry. Right. We know what Joshua's going to do. Uh, on on the first. Now, because of this big deal with uh, Tyson Fury and the fact that fans have told this man he won against Deontay Wilder, he is able to get a big deal like that, which I think is risky because of his mental state. So he wants to box now. Who knows how that's going to be tomorrow? They uh, calculated that. Another thing that you got to be leery of is in America we don't like boring. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree because I don't think in boxing. There's a boring, in my opinion. <clears throat> I think people do what they have to do to win, try to get a hit, hit as, as less as possible. And I don't think that's boring because the ring is small enough for somebody to always catch up to anybody if you have any footwork. I think boring comes from sour grapes most of the time. But if you're talking about boring, the bo most boring heavy, heavyweight fight probably ever, landing 83 punches, Tyson Fury, Fury beat uh, your boy. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko landing 83 punches. I think that's the least in the 12 round heavyweight fight, uh, heavyweight championship fight of all time. So that is, you know, is boring. If they for the people who say that about fights, you know, you know, Tyson Fury is not really knocking people out. It's about movement uh, and, and hitting people, you know, tapping them and not getting hit. It's about a lot of defense. That's what's happening. It's not boring to me, but I'm just saying that could possibly happen in the future when you're giving somebody a contract. You're talking 100 million for three fights. You know, it's over 30 million a fight, guys. So um, that's a risky business going with Tyson Fury, but I know they went with the narrative, right? The problem with this is now you're hearing about the offers being made. You're hearing about, you know, Bob Arum uh, offering Deontay Wilder a tremendous offer is what they're calling it. And it's basically saying, hey, fight an interim fight and we can get to the Tyson Fury fight in the fall, right? That's what they're offering. Same thing as uh, Eddie Hearn is saying, hey, since Darrell Miller has to uh, fight um, Anthony Joshua, we're offering that Deontay Wilder fights an interim fight, and then we can fight Anthony Joshua in the fall. All right? So the thing is, we're going to have to be careful about these interim fights. Right? That's what we're going to have to do. You know, we have a big three, but let's be honest about our big three. No matter who you're the fan of, you know, some of us are fans of two of the three. Some of us fans of just one and don't like the other two. Whatever your case may be, one thing I think we can agree on is these guys are not indestructible. These guys probably won't end their careers undefeated, right? And why would we say that? It's because of what we've seen. All three of these guys have been in trouble, you know, and been down in most cases. Some have been down recently, right, in their last fights. Some have been wobbled in their last fight. You know what I mean? So... It's not like they're, these guys are way better than the rest of these guys and they're not going to get clipped. That's where the interim fights come in. The money is there for you now. People want to see Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. If Tyson Fury go out here, just for example, and fight someone else in that style that's boring and not barely knock him out or not even knock him out or things like that, people, oh, you think people are going to really keep wanting to see him? The momentum is now, right? Jarrell Miller could mess around and beat Anthony Joshua. Uh, Deontay Wilder can mess around, mess around with Adam Kanaki in, in the next fight. And Kanaki takes those punches and give more and mess around and stop Deontay late. Then we all, all those fights will mean less. They won't be eight-figure fights no more, right? Or not high eight-figure, eight figures. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm thinking that these guys, the promoters, fighters, all of them involved should be very careful about not taking those fights that the fans want to see now. Because I don't see anybody that's, you know, a talent 
That's, you know, we ain't seen this in 30, 40 years. Right? You know, we've seen things. Now, they're, they're huge. Like, say, for example, let's go Tyson Fury. Huge guy with great defense. But he's been down every time he gets touched. And I told you, my theory is because he doesn't get touched much in sparring because he's so tall. Deontay Wilder got wobbled or teeth. Right? Outpointed in some people's eyes against Tyson Fury. Right? Guy has a right hand we haven't seen in about 30 years, but they say his technique is not that good. And Joshua went down against Klitschko, then uh, rocked against a little 6 2 Povetkin. We thought Povetkin was probably going to win that fight at some points of that fight. So everybody has been in situations, and I think that we, it behooves everybody involved to not try to stall these fights out. Plus, these guys are all, everybody's not 24, everybody's 30 and up. So, or very close. So, what we're going to have to do is get him now or she's going to mess around and be a victim of interim fights. So, let's be careful. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.